What's up, party people? Welcome to Tam's Psych Advice. And I talk about love languages. Check out my playlist. I talk about Myers-Briggs personality types, Enneagram, psychological disorders, personality disorders, all things psychology. So if you love exploring the human mind and fun ways, then this channel is for you. And make sure you subscribe to my channel because it's like joining a secret society of laughter and entertainment. We have cookies, memes, and an unhealthy obsession with cute animal videos. Did I say animal? I meant animal. So today we're going to talk about love languages. And I love, love, love the love languages. I think everybody needs to understand them. They can help with the workplace. They can help with your romantic relationship, with your mother, your father, your cousins, your uncles, your aunts, your neighbors, the people in the grocery store. Well, maybe not those people, but love languages can help with so many things so many aspects of your life if you understand them it will help you to get along with people so much better in the enchanting realm of love where hearts beat as one and souls intertwine in a dance of passion there exists a mystical language spoken by lovers to express their deepest affections number one is words of affirmation the melody of devotion Imagine a lover whispering sweet nothings in your ear, serenading your soul with words of adoration and admiration. In the language of words of affirmation, love blooms like a delicate rose, nurtured by heartfelt compliments, encouraging words, and expressions of appreciation. Each syllable uttered is like a love poem, enchanting the heart and igniting the flames of passion. Number two, acts of service the dance of devotion. Picture a lover extending a helping hand, easing your burdens and fulfilling your needs without a second thought. In the language of acts of service, love manifests through selfless gestures, thoughtful deeds, and acts of kindness that speaks volumes without uttering a word. Like a graceful dance, these acts of service weave a tapestry of love and devotion, binding souls in a harmonious embrace. Number three, receiving gifts, the treasure of love. Envision a lover presenting you with a token of their affection, a symbol of their love and devotion. In the language of receiving gifts, love sparkles like a precious gem, cherished for its sentiment and significance. Each gift bestowed is a testament to the depth of love, a tangible expression of adoration that transcends material value and speaks directly in the heart. Number four, quality time, the symphony of togetherness. Picture a lover gazing into your eyes, fully present and engaged in the moment, savoring the essence of your togetherness. In the language of quality time, love flourishes through shared experiences, intimate moments, and undivided attention. Time becomes a precious gift, a treasure to be savored as lovers immerse themselves in their togetherness, creating memories that last a lifetime. And finally, number five, physical touch, the fire of passion. Feel the warmth of a lover's embrace, the electricity that courses through your veins at the gentle caress of their hand. In the language of physical touch, Love is expressed through the language of the body, through tender embraces, passionate kisses, and intimate connections that ignite the flames of desire. Each touch is a language unto itself, speaking volumes of love, desire, and unspoken longing. So dear people, may you embrace the beauty and diversity of the five love languages weaving them into the tapestry of your love story and celebrating the unique ways in which you express and receive love. In this dance of hearts and souls, may you find joy, fulfillment, and everlasting love. And so what we found is if someone doesn't do your love language, then you're not going to feel very loved in that romantic relationship. So if you're wondering if there's an issue in your relationship or why you don't feel connected that, to that person, or you're feeling like that person doesn't care about you at all, it's because they're not doing your love language. They may be doing their own love language because they think that what they want is what you want, but that's not the case. 
Sometimes what you want is not what they want, vice versa. So you almost have to kind of learn how to write with your left hand. There could be a love language that your partner loves that you just absolutely do not love at all. So it can be very tricky, but if you want to be in a romantic relationship, then you've got to understand how this stuff works. Also, when you're at work, believe it or not, one of the ways to get along with your colleagues and your coworkers is by understanding their love languages. If you have a boss, which most people do, you need to understand what is that person's love language. That is so, so important. Something that I've always noticed is that there are people who do the love languages, but they don't receive them very well. There are some people who do all five love languages for other people, but when you try to do them back to them, they don't appreciate it. They don't enjoy it. There are a lot of people who do certain love languages for people, but they don't want them done back to them. And I've also made a weird discovery about myself, which I will talk about in just a minute. But first, I know I met someone recently who told me, I will do anything you want me to do. What When it comes to acts of service, you want me to carry something for you, but do not do it back to me because I hate that. So then there was some other person who told me because I have we do this thing where we fill out the things that we like or whatever at work. I had this person to say, hey, I'll fill it out if you want me to, but I hate receiving gifts. So I don't want you to get me snacks. I don't want you to give me little stick. Whatever it is, I, I can't stand when people give me gifts. However, I'll buy you all the gifts that you want. I'll buy the person all the snacks that they want. Just don't give any to me because I hate that. It makes me feel terrible. I don't like it. It's annoying to me. And I was like, well, what do you do at Christmas? I said, you don't feel awkward? No, not at all. I don't have a problem with getting everybody the toys that they want, the gifts that they want. Just don't give me one because I don't like that. And I thought this is so fascinating. Then I had this other person to tell me. When it comes to words of affirmation, which is when you're telling people, oh, I'm so proud of you. Good job. One day he great. got mad at me because I was telling him that I thought that the way he did something was really effective and that I hoped that we could keep doing it that way. And he got so irritated at me. And then he later told me, I don't like being thanked. I don't like being praised. I don't like being told that I'm doing good. That person ended up being my secret Santa. And I was like, how do I thank you for the gifts that you gave me? I love them all. But because you don't like being thanked, how am I supposed to show appreciation for all the work that you did all week to make me super happy? Oh my gosh. See, this is why I love language languages get complicated but at the same time you could be ticking somebody off and not even knowing it right what's also ironic is that person tells me good job all the time that was great you're so talented and these are all men who have been super particular but i've also encountered women and i'm sure you have as well uh, I remember working with some people that for birthdays, when I worked with them, they wanted to go out for lunch and pay for your lunch. And we would take turns paying for each other's lunch. And yes, that's lovely. I love giving gifts. And so I was like, you guys don't give each other gifts on your birthday? No, and please don't start because I don't know what to get people and that's super irritating. When someone enjoys expressing the love language of gift giving, but doesn't necessarily want to receive physical gifts, it can be helpful to explain their perspective to others. They can express that they genuinely appreciate the thought and effort behind the gifts, but due to personal preferences or limited space, they would prefer alternative expressions of love. And by having an open conversation, they can suggest other ways to feel cherished, such as quality time together, acts of service, or words of affirmation. Similarly, if someone's love language is acts of service, but they struggle with receiving help or assistance, they can explain that they find joy in serving others and feel fulfilled by being helpful. In each of these cases, open communication and understanding are key. 
by explaining their preferences and suggesting alternative ways to express love, individuals can help their loved ones find meaningful ways to cherish them, even if it may not align with their own love language. So it is super important for your love life, but also your friendships, family, and colleagues if you want to get along well with them. Plus, it's just super fun to me. So if you're having difficulty with your love life and you need a little help, guess who wrote a book about love? And that's me, Tamara Hunter Zion. And it's called Flip the Script on Love when I explore a lot of things about relationships and love. Because honestly, I think we can all give each other some well-needed advice in that area because it's such a sensitive area in all of our lives and so fulfilling. So I give you my perspective. If you understand Myers-Briggs personality types, check out my book from ENFJ with Love. And I have a chapter devoted to every single Myers-Briggs type that's going to give you an in-depth look of all of them. And finally, if you're dealing with somebody who's just rude and mean and cruel and difficult, it may not have anything to do with their love languages at all. They might be a narky narc. Yes, a narcissist. So check out my book, The Workplace Narcissist. And I'm going to talk about narcissists from A to Z and help you. And I'll see you amazing people on the next video. Love you. Bye.